Hey everybody, I just wanted to follow up on my video from yesterday and talk to you once more about being proud of your penis and your foreskin and all of that. And it's one of those things that it's, it's really important because when people get with someone in the United States, unfortunately, they expect them to be circumcised. And so for me, if I meet somebody and they're not circumcised, that's always a pleasant surprise. Again, I would never turn someone down because they were circumcised. You know, there's more to a person than the, just their foreskin. But it's definitely a, a nice thing when you can find that. And also, I think to someone that is not circumcised, such as myself, when you meet somebody who really appreciates uh, the foreskin and is happy that you have it, it's always an added boost or, or plus and just makes you feel good about yourself or whatever. So, you know, if, if I come across somebody, and this is rare, but if I come across somebody that's not circumcised, I always make sure to let them know how awesome that is. I think we need this positivity where it comes to the foreskin, this foreskin positivity, so that we can get this attitude of, you know, hey, it's great, and people need to hear that it's great, and we need to kind of get this in the public mindset so that they can realize that. Not, not only the guys that are uncircumcised, uh, but also just the general public who maybe doesn't care but they have it in their head, this, these myths that are just kind of vaguely there. And so we need to replace those with the truth so that when they hear foreskin, uncircumcised, intact, when they hear these terms, they think, oh, that's awesome. And not, not have that gut reaction of, eh, or something like that. We need to kind of, and this, this takes time to kind of slowly change that mindset for the public at large. And I think the more positive we are when we come across someone who's not circumcised, the more that kind of spreads that atmosphere. So we need to kind of keep, keep working to make that happen so that we can change this mindset and get it so that everybody finds that foreskin is awesome and wouldn't even dream of getting it cut off. And that's what we're working for. Talk to you later.